hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can split a single file into multiple files and then after merge them back into the single file so let's start now i have already cre created the python file and give them name is split merge file so let's start now so first i'm going to write the main define the main function here so and now we will write the two functions one for the split and one for the merge so each split file function will be used to split the file and merge file will be used to merge the file so now let's now write the functions here yeah. so def so first i am going to write the functions for split operations so split file so to split for the split file operations to work first we have to define the size of the files uh, so uh, this will uh, take the length of the or the line so split length Equals. So here I am going to define the thousand. That is, uh, for each thousand lines, the new file will be created. And we have to define the output folder. So output base equals. So I have already created the directory here. Is splitted files, merge file, input files. So is splitted file will be the output directory. And that file name will be start from name data and now we will define the input equals and we will open the input files so input file will be taken from the directory input file and the file name is data dot txt I have already taken data in the input file directory and we have to define the mode here so to read the file we define the mode as r and that read operation will read the file and as we are going to split the file so split operation will be used here and we have to define the split character so slash n for new line character slash n we will use the new line character now we have to we have to write this file in the some directory or some folder and you in the organized form so we'll use the loop here for i equal to one i have defined i equal to one so we we'll use this in the loops so for each line lines in range so range will start from zero to length of the total length of the files so length of the input this will give the total length of the input files and the loop will be iterate for the split length now we'll define the output data folder here uh, equals so this this will get the last slice of the data so input lines sorry lines column lines and we'll append split length here now now we are going to open this file so output opens that is output base
plus str will supply the value of the i here so uh, string i is, is the string one it will iterate up to one two three will increment the i ladder and so this will give the name of the file is um, data one data two data three and so on so this will um, sequentially name the data output file and we'll add the extension here so for text operations the text command extension will be used and as we are going to read the op write the files so w will be the write operations now we have to write these files so output dot write command will write the file and we will specify the new line character here slash n and the dot join command will join the data and the data to, to join is output data so it will join the new slice with the new lines and write it out so now we have to close the data so file output that close it will close the file now we have to increment the counter so that is i plus equals one so it will increment the counter i and so data the file name of the output the output file name will be written as data 1 data 2 data 3 and so on this is the end of the file split operation so we can print some messages here file split operation as bins so now we are, now we have to write now we are going to write the the def functions for the merge files so def we have already called these functions from the main function so so merge file so merge to merge the file we have to we have to define the source file as well as destination file here as well so first we open the destination file so with open so we are going to write write the destination fold in the directory merged file and the file name will be data dot txt and the operation is will be the write operation as we are going to write the file so wb operation will be the write and we'll open this file as name file destination fdst now we're going to f define the source path we'll take on the we'll take the same source file that we have used for split file operations so source path will be the source path will be the splitted splitted file that is the file that has been splitted from the previous functions that is a split file so a splitted file so this is this will be the directory for the file we are going to merge so now as we may have the number of uh, greater number of uh, file so using for loop will be efficient here so we will use the for loop for subdirectory for subdirectory directories and files in OS command will list out the file from the path OS dot and source path. So to work with the OS com OS operation, we have to import the OS library here. So import OS. This will import the OS library. So this. This will list out all the files inside the source path and for file in files that is for all files inside the source path. Now we will write the file names here. File name equals sorry I missed the colon here file names for file in 
files so file name sequence so we will append the directory with the file name so directory will be the source path and file name will be the file now we will open this file so we open file name and the operation will be the as we are going to read the file so read binary rb so we will open this file as test as source file so fsr say source file now we will use the sutil functions library still that coffee pile object so to work with the sutil we have to import the here library here import so copy file object will take the source source file destination file that is source file fsr file, and destination file f the destination file and the size of the files that is mm, the, the size for writing chunk so we'll define the size here to avoid the avoid reading big file into the memory so we have to define the size in the integers so for here we can write as 1024 into 1024 into 10 so this will take the 10 MB per writing chunk so this will this will copy the contents of the file like object this will copy the contents of the file like object fsrc in fsrc to the file like object ftst so the integer length if given if given is the size of the file so this this will merge the file and we can print the operations print some messages to show that operation has been completed so file merge operation has been successful So let's run the code first. So this is the input files. It contains around seven thousand row, and the inmos file and splitted file directory are empty. First, now let's run the code. So what does it says? Sorry, for lines in range that is the length of the speed, comma. Sorry, we have to take a small bracket here. Is this is not the array? So here we go. So it says file split operation has been successful and file merge operation has been successful. So merged file is written here. This is the merged file. And splitted file are written in the directory splitted file data one, data two, and this this has been splitted into the eight files. So let's review the code once again. So we have imported the OS library and so till library which which is going to use we which we are going to use there and we have defined the split length and the output output directory and we have read the file and in split it using the new line character and we have defined the the increment functions i.e. increment object and for lines in the range we have merged we have splitted the files and we have uh, used 
the file name architecture uh, file name naming convention is data one data two and data and so on and the, the splitted file that has been written in the splitted file directory is merged from this merge file functions and we have e used the copy file object that will copy the source file into the destination file and with the with the size defined there so this is the end of the tutorial now I'm going to show this all codes again so this is the end if you have any comments or questions regarding this tutorial please do comment also don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for upcoming videos thank you